All right, it's uh, January 3rd and uh, Sunday afternoon, about uh, 2 o'clock, just after 2 o'clock. And uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful day out. We had a heavy frost, so all the trees and everything, it's only about 20 degrees out, so the frost is hanging around, and now the sun's shining off everything. Uh, pretty awesome out. But I uh, got climbed into the blind here. Uh, did uh, jump five does uh, on the way in here that were bedded up by the pond that's actually oh, about 150 yards behind me. Um, not much I can do about it, I guess, but uh, I don't think they probably went far. They probably just went down to this timber over here, so I'm hoping uh, they'll probably make their way back out here for for supper tonight, but uh, we're going to give it a try. I've got uh, basically got tonight and uh, next weekend uh, to hunt uh, Saturday and Sunday and then uh, Sunday is the last day of the season so unless I take some time or an evening off of work this week I'm basically down to about tonight and, and two more hunts so I'm gonna see uh, if I can make something happen I have a weird uh, goofy rack buck um, I should just start calling him goofy but uh, he's got a really good left side and then his right side is uh, like a weird spike and he's actually got a little piece that drops down on the side of his head I don't know just grew all funny so uh, he looks like a mature buck to me he came in I've seen him the last three nights in a row out here and, and uh, he's bigger than the rest of the bucks body wise and stuff and just kind of um, other deer kind of move out of the way when he steps into the crowd so I'm, I'm kind of thinking if he gives me an opportunity I'm probably going to see if I can take him. If not, uh, obviously looking to see if I can get a shot at uh, a couple of big boys, but I haven't really uh, laid eyes on any for a while. So I've only had like one or two uh, trail camera pictures of some of the good deer that uh, were on the farm earlier this year um, after gun season. I know they're around. I definitely have the food. It's just a matter of, of uh, getting them getting them up here. Uh, last two nights, three nights, had uh, a bunch of deer out. 25, 30 plus deer each night. Tonight we do have like a south wind, which is perfect for this blind. Um, I just don't know what it's going to do to the deer movement. It is the first south after a couple north, so it could be good. I just don't know. Um, bright, sunshiny day right now, obviously. So uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, like I said, saw those uh, few does already, and then just a few minutes ago, there was a bunch of pheasants uh, over here. But uh, we'll see what happens. Maybe we can. I'm certain we'll see deer. I just uh, don't know what ones and how how close they're going to get. So we shall see. If nothing else, it'll be a fun evening for a sit. So I'll take you along. It's uh oh hold on It's about four thirty and uh, I got a pile of deer. Um actually come up well I've had deer on both sides of me tonight. But I got a bunch down at the south end of the field and then I've got over a dozen of them out here. Um came into the top of uh the top food plot and we're eating some uh blueprint blend and uh, now they're making their way up and into the beans um, saw one uh, one forky buck down at the south end a little bit ago and uh, as of right now this whole mess over here looks like a bunch of does but uh, 
they must have came from the bottom because I didn't see them until they were already coming up into the top food plot but it's a big group so maybe there'll be some with them here in a bit so I got this one window open so it's kind of cool in here right now but I figure if uh, if I get something in within range it's gonna be right over here on this this side so we'll see I'm gonna see what happens here 